five ways to save you $10,000 every year by doing small changes that you're doing every single day. First off, waste less food. Over $1,500 is wasted every single year by just food that is being thrown out. So you can start by making a really good grocery list, right? First off, get a menu of a delicious food item that you wanna make for the week. Then get your menu going, right? Then go to the grocery store and make sure you do not get anything that's not on your grocery list. If you have any leftover food during the week, this is a great way to get a little bit scrappy. If you have white rice left over, just do a stir fry. It's so delicious and such a great way to use the food that you already have in your own home. Such a great way to save $1,500 every single year. Second thing, plastic water bottles. Okay, just stop using them. Why are we using them now still? Really? They're 300 times more expensive than regular tap water. On average, Americans are spending $250 to $1,200 per year, just depending on how much they spend, right? On plastic water bottles, which is so crazy to me. You can spend $12 on an aluminum, a really good filtered water bottle that'll be a really good quality. I mean, $12 on the low end, right? You can go significantly more. Think about like all the Stanley Cups if you want to get real fancy out there. But overall, you can even get a reverse osmosis system for a one-time cost and that $1,200 will disappear, right? It is the gift that keeps on giving when you can invest in a good water filtration system and water bottles that you'll be able to use on a daily basis as opposed to paying 300 times more for a plastic water bottle. Now, not only that, but I used to work for California Water Service as the conservation manager. And it's so crazy because think about how much more regulated your local water municipalities are in testing your tap water versus plastic water bottles, right? I don't trust the FDA at all. Think about all the mishaps that have happened in our history of working with the FDA. I don't trust them at all. And that's who's regulating our water. So think about it. So many microplastics are also leaching into your water bottles every single time it gets in transport, right? So think about the logistics of getting to the grocery store in those large trucks, they're getting heated, that's heating up your water bottle and leaching microplastics into it. And that's what you're consuming. For your health, for your money, for the health of the planet, just cut it out. Save so much money, $1,200 a year. I mean, on the high end, right? Third thing, thrifting. Oh my gosh, if I can tell you how excited I am about thrifting. It has saved me so many different situations. So overall, $1,760 is saved by the average American by thrifting versus buying things brand new. So many things. It's just like, think about when you buy a car, right? And you drive it off the lot you're gonna lose how much value every the first time that you drive that car off a lot. Same exact thing with all of your clothes, all of your household appliances, everything, right? You can save so much money. You wanna look at the quality, that's really important. But besides that, you can get some really good items off Mercari, OfferUp, Facebook Marketplace, so many places. Ooh, Kidsian for kids clothes, they have the cutest stuff. In my local area, we have a children's orchard, which is so adorable. You can just buy all these adorable little kids oh, shoes and clothes. Oh, I love it. That's literally how I've been able to get so many things that are needed for my family. Also, as a tip, the buy nothing group. Oh my gosh, the buy nothing group. Okay, so if you're on Facebook, you need to get on the buy nothing group. So this is a group where you put in your zip code and literally your neighbors are like, hey, I don't want an air fryer. Who wants an air fryer? And you're like, I do. You have an air fryer and they just give it to you. It's pretty amazing. I got so many clothes for my kids, adorable, adorable trucks for them. So many cool things. I, would, I gave a, I gave Legoland tickets to people on my buy nothing group because I wasn't able to attend that day and wanted someone to use it in my local area. It's such a great way of just giving back, but also being able to get really cool things too. Four, okay, making coffee at home. Okay, how much do you realistically spend at Starbucks every single year? Just think about it, right? On average, you can save about $760 by buying things on, uh, you know, buying things from the grocery store, coffee beans, grounding it up, using your own coffee filter, right? And just making it on your own. 
Starbucks is really expensive. And I actually think this is a very conservative number based on how a lot of my friends go to coffee, uh, go to Starbucks and get coffee all the time. It's insane. So think about that, right? There's so many benefits. You can make fresher, more delicious coffee in the in your own home. Save yourself time. It's so easy to do. Okay, number five, restaurants. So restaurants, this is 325% more in cost versus buying food from the grocery store, right? That's really significant. Now, I'm someone who loves to go out to restaurants. I really do, but I have scaled back. So when I think about how much I was spending five years ago versus today, I've made some really significant changes and that's how I think you need to look at it, right? Map out how much you're spending every single week on going out to dinner. The average American is about $100 per week, right? So for 52 weeks, that's $5,200 that they're spending on going out to restaurants. So $5,200 that you can save by just cooking at home for all of those meals. Now that might not be realistic for everyone, right? But think about what you're flexible with and how much you think you could cook at home, balancing your schedules, right? I have two kids, I know how crazy it is. But the cool thing is, is making food at home, you know your food more. My kids love cooking in the kitchen with me. Granted, it takes a little bit longer, but they enjoy the experience, right? And they're doing that with me. They're having fun, I'm having fun. It's a little bit chaotic, but also it saves us so much money. So think about that, right? So all of these together can save you $10,000 per year. Take a look at your spending habits and see how you can save some money. Comment on which one was the best for you and subscribe. Thanks.